Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of all ages, welcome to the Zone Collectibles and more. We are nestled in the heart of historic downtown Tifton, Georgia on Main Street. My name is Kevin, I am the resident RM, and our last few videos have been talking about unlicensed bootleg knockoff counterfeit fakes. We've covered Pop so far, Funko Pops, and we've covered Pokemon cards. Um, I have a few more coming down the road, but what I wanted to share with you is what happens when the officially licensed products meet fandoms and you come out with a just totally awesome collaboration. Now, where am I going with this? Let's start with this product right here. This is an officially licensed by Conquest Journals replica of John Winchester's journal. Now, when we were in lockdown, my son and I were looking at trying to figure out what we could do as a project together. We both love Supernatural. So we decided we were going to make a prop replica of John's journal. But I told my son, I said, let's see what's commercially available. Let's see what's out there. Maybe someone's already put it together. And yes, they did. This journal came with some pages on the inside. It also had an auxiliary pack for a map, which you see the boys hanging up on a lot of the walls, same way with John and the like. It also come with a replica medals pack for John. So basically, you could take all of these wonderful things that they have officially licensed to produce and put in this binder. But the coolest part about it was I found out that the community for Supernatural has made personal pages to go into these prop replicas. So you could have bought a regular journal and called it John Winchester's journal and did all the pages on the inside. But this is what we were talking about in the last few videos. This is where this company has gone out of their way to pay the licensing fees so that they could produce an authentic replica with the backing of Supernatural. But this journal also came with blank pages. So they encourage you to make your own entries after you purchase this to make it your own. And that's exactly what my son and I did. Um, when you open up the journal, there are the replica ribbons from John's um, military days. And then when you get online, you find out that there's a lot of people who have created these things, screenshots, individual pages, just really cool stuff that the fandom got behind to match up with this journal. So it's a meeting of full-blown retail, officially licensed, and then custom fandom pieces. Now, over the 30 days when we were in lockdown, my son and I put together our books. And as you can see down here, some of the pages are copyright, trademarked. Warner Brothers, and this is 2017. But the cool part was the actually finding of the other material and then crafting material to share with other people in the Supernatural fandom. I want to go through this and show you some of the pages that my son and I put together. First of all, I am a big Pumpkinhead fan. So we thought it was appropriate to put Pumpkinhead in the journal. My wife also loves, take a moment, take it in, this is from Charmed. She thought that would make a great page. I'd also had some books that had some alchemy symbols so and some chemistry symbols, so we went ahead and added that to John's entry. When my son was growing up, there was a movie for preteens that was the young adventure or the adventures of young Van Helsing. And this deals with the Simon Magus character 
So he went ahead and crafted that. Then my son and I both enjoy Lost Boys. So my son went ahead and crafted some pages. We found some pictures. We got the Santa Carla postcard and added it to the journal. Going a little bit further in, we found this from Buffy. I'm sorry, Angel, the spinoff. But that's the law firm of Wolfram and Hart, and it's an ad for that. So we added it in here. Also, what's really hitting right now is Skinwalker Ranch. So we went ahead and did some actual news articles, just like John would have. And then another one that's cool, especially here in the South, is the Lizard Man. That actually ran in the newspapers, so we started a page for that as well. And that's the people with the castings of the footprints. This was a real event. We also found a cool picture that we added to the officially licensed down here of a cult. And we got the Winchester house. Also, we found some pictures and some stuff online of the roadhouse. Bobby in his early days. And a Singer Auto business card we added in. Also, my son and I love John Carpenter's vampires. So, we added the Black Cross page. And, I won't lie, back in the day I enjoyed watching Buffy. So, there's the legend of the Hellmouth and the Slayers. One of the short films, I think they've done three that my son really enjoys, their short horror films, called The Jester. So, he went ahead and created a page for that. Also right now, it's all about the Slender Man. So, a page was created for that. My son also enjoys the Pinata movie. Um, it's had a number of different titles. And to show you how much up here, we even have an autograph piece to Kim from Pinata Survival Island by the Pinata player in the suit himself. So yes, this is a family favorite. We like creature features. Guilty as charged. But we went ahead and made uh, some pages for that as well. Back in my hometown, Defiance, Ohio, there was actually back, I think, in the late 70s, early 80s, there was actually a werewolf um, series of sightings. And these are actual articles from back in the day. And then, with everybody all going crazy about Cobra Kai, there was an online theory that Miyagi was actually a demon sorcerer. So that page was crafted with the new lore. And hey, we couldn't do a journal without putting this in, being Cobra Kai fans the way my family is. And then when you got officially licensed stuff, you got things like the menu in one of the packs for the restaurant. That, and then you've got things like this. This is a brochure from the mystery spot, which was so cool. There's some stuff in here about the um, the musical at the school. Um, just a bunch of fan stuff, a bunch of authentic stuff, a bunch of screenshots. And then, like I said, as part of the official pack, there you go. That's the fold-out adventure so far U.S. map. And then, you found some things like this. An ad for the old girl herself. Really, they're, really the, the car and the journal are additional cast members. But this is just, I wanted to show everybody that you can have an officially licensed 
product where the company has taken the time to get all of the right approvals, to put all of the right effort behind it, to create something that is valuable to the fans, but it, you can also create something that the fans can then add into and make their own. This is just a very wonderful example of how you can mesh the creativity of the fans with an authorized product and make it truly your own. So I just wanted to share this with you. Me and my son had a lot of fun putting it together and um, it's just a perfect example of everything that can go right with a collaboration between the fandom and these companies who are actually creating officially licensed product. As always, this has been me, Kevin, here at The Zone, wishing you all have a zone-tastic day. Thank you so much.